Hello, Diggory Haydock here for the Vintage Gun Journal and we're going to be looking at the operation of a classic design here. Uh, it is of course the 1875 Anson and Dealey patent, commonly known as a box lock. Um, it was a revolutionary design because it really put all the workings into the action of the body and um, simplified lock work uh, immeasurably really on entirely different principles to anything that had been coming along before. So externally I'm sure you're all familiar with that. Um, it's a very common action probably the most commonly used um, side by side broke open act sh shotgun action ever made. If we turn it over we can look at the workings. When you pull the trigger, this sear moves out of the bent. That allows the hammer to fall. The nose of the hammer goes through the hole in the face of the action and strikes the primer in the cartridge, releasing the ejector down the barrel. It's all done under the power of the mainspring. And the other limb you have here is the cocking dog which as you can see is secured here on a pivot. It extends into the fore end, into a, into a hole in the fore end iron. And that limb then forms a lever. So when the barrels drop, this moves up. By moving up, it pushes that and pulls this back where it's then caught by the sear. So we can have a look at this. in operation. There you go, it's now in the fired position. Sear, you can see is no longer in the bent. The cocking dog is in the position now where it's, it's ready to force this up, which forces this back and the bent will catch in the sear. See if we can see that in operation. A little bit tricky one-handed, particularly left-handed for a right-hander like me. But there we go. You can see everything moving. Just watch the bent about to catch in the sear. There it is. So now the, ham the hammer cannot fall because it's being held by the sear. And it's now back in the ready to fire position. And that's a beautiful simplicity of Anson and Dealey's 1875 patent commonly now known as a box lock.